Here we are inside the addition today. Wanted to just make a quick little video on this before I got to the goats, but uh, we're here today with the other rocket stove in the addition. For those that have seen the previous videos on this rocket stove, um, but for those that haven't, uh, this is the rocket stove in the addition. So this is our second rocket stove in the other part uh, the other earthship that we have going on here and we've got the piping that goes underneath the floor all the way through the floor underneath all the way and then out the other side so I'll take note of the stovepipe even uh, now that the fire is going real good I'll uh, put a couple more sticks in this is what I'm working with you know just these sticks and we've got a good fire going. I'll put those in. Those should last for a little bit. Put a couple more in. We're still kind of tinkering with the rocket stove. I think what the plan of action is is we're going to um, fill in the bottom here with some more rocks and actually kind of raise the level up because you can kind of see it's really deep in there. Um, and I think that's kind of the flaw with the airflow and it not just suctioning. So I think raising the level up so we have a little bit less uh, overhead room for smoke to kind of tumble. You know, we want it to be more efficient where we just want the bottoms of the sticks to be burning and making that flame and igniting all the gases inside the, the tube there. So limiting space, we're gonna have a couple more fires to get it keep it nice and warm. I'll probably end up stacking some rocks, some of those busted rocks that exploded being on top like they are. So we'll rearrange that, but right now it's flowing pretty good and it's keeping things fairly warm. Um, outside right now, we've been sitting the whole day in the negative temperatures, so below zero. Uh, right now we're below uh, about 15 degrees, so below zero. And even coming in here, I just got the fire started, so you have to take my word like 10 minutes ago. Hasn't had a major impact, but it's 43 degrees in here with plants. So that's with just the sun, the solar gain that we've gotten throughout the day. It's been a, a little hazy, cloudy, but uh, fairly sunny, as you can see. So a lot of solar gain and doing pretty well for it being minus 15 outside. So that's, uh, you know, almost a 60 degree difference from outside. And Nika's coming in from doing some of the animal stuff getting animals set up with more hay as well and I'm keeping the fire in here warm for her while she was doing that as well as while I was chopping some pallet wood and chopping some of the the wood stumps that I chopped from yesterday that I did the video on if you haven't seen so I got my logs there the pallets still to cut up we've got power being generated so yeah, it's almost, it's already 45 in there now. And then coming out to the main greenhouse, it's 34 degrees out here. So minus 15 outside and 34 degrees inside of here, which in my book is not too bad. Pretty cold, but it's like, you know, you can definitely still keep a lot of plants uh, going. The broccoli or the celery, I mean, didn't, does, does not like the temperature. We'll see because sometimes it kind of, uh, after it warms up, it, it'll prop itself back up. So <clears throat> it might not be dead all the way. You can still, we actually still have some of the broccoli that is over here that's still going in this temperature. We've also got cover crops that are still going, uh, apple trees that are just finally losing some leaves, uh, more of their leaves, but they still have some attached. So they're not completely dormant you'd have to say right you know none of the leaves fell off that one and let's see and we've kind of broke the thermostat it won't even give us the lowest temperature it just gives us low so the last time i checked it was the lowest it got was 18 degrees so it must have dipped even harder through the night so we'll definitely see because it was minus 15 overnight and then carrying through the day now we're about to go overnight into minus 35 overnight into the early mornings and we'll see what we come out to in the middle of the night or early in the morning actually I'll come back out here and we'll see what temperatures we're working with but that is partially why I've got the stove running 
is uh, to definitely help keep things warmer in here through the night, which I'm sure that's what helped uh, keep the temperature a little bit, uh, at least 20 degrees warmer than outside um, through the night. So it dipped pretty low, and then in here, you know, it still stayed at least above freezing, which is a plus in my book either way for this being the first winter of it being fully insulated and more complete all the windows you know completed not everything is fully complete as you can see but i mean for it being almost all the way we still need insulation out in that greenhouse roof but you know pretty outstanding for a recycled building that you know uh, hasn't really had the rocket stove even going full blast uh, all day you know seven days a week kind of like how we do in the house we keep that thing going through these colder nights to keep the house warm through the night as well you know waking up in the house it was 66 degrees so that was with having the stove going till about 10 o'clock and then not starting it back up till nine almost 10 o'clock because it was still kind of warm and we had to brush panels and snow off of windows and the solar panels and such so just wanted to document this aspect of the addition we've got the rocket stove going full bore we're still figuring out just um the little quirks and kinks in it and <laughs> all the bugs so to speak and figuring that out but it is going right now and it's 45 and rising now it's 46 so you know we still have plants going in here cover crops uh as well as our citrus trees, the avocado tree right there. The fig trees lost their leaves, but, you know, the mulberry tree is finally just kind of yellowing out and starting to lose leaves in here. But, I mean, look, we still we have flowers growing, blooming in the middle of winter here on the solstice. So I think that's pretty impressive in my book. So the fact that we're even growing these plants as minimal as things are throughout the winter you know, without 24 seven, you know, care and someone, you know, manning the ship, so to speak in here, uh, I think it's pretty good. And anyone should consider, you know, the concept and being able to Im implement, you know, their own style that maybe there's improvements on their end that they can think of that they can do better. And that's all, you know, where I stand with things is, yeah, maybe things aren't perfect here. They're not all tidied up and look, you know, pristine, like on, you know, renovations, TV shows and stuff like that. But, you know, we're just doing it. We're experimenting. We're, ding you know, I'm not a professional builder by any means. And I honestly am not a perfectionist where, th you know, things do bother me in the sense of like, I want to get it done and I would like to get it done, but I'm not the person that kind of gets upset and overwhelmed by having things at perfection, I guess. And uh, to me, it kind of, the inside comes with over time and, you know, kind of, you know, figuring out the, the building, it's got almost like its own character and attitude. So it's kind of figuring it out, learning about what's its quirks and kinks, you know, for this design and kind of adapting to it and finding where things we can improve on or, you know, fix uh, that'll make it function even better. But for right now, it's uh, functioning pretty darn well in my book and uh, I'm just going to continue stoking the fire but just wanted to document since we're about to go through the coldest night of the season here on the solstice we'll see how the earthship does the addition here and we'll take note and we have a fire going so we'll also be kind of adding the fire uh, or the stove to the equation and seeing how things go overnight and we're just documenting growing plants through all of winter right now. So, so far, uh, pretty successful in majority of stuff. I mean, things are going dormant, but that's, you know, anticipated. And we're getting our strawberry roots ready. We're also getting our seeds ready as well for the season. Uh, for those that don't know, we're doing seed starts. We're selling seed starts. As well as if I can get more trees going, we'll be selling fruit trees, citrus trees, all kinds, apple trees, all kinds of trees and such soon in the future. So maybe we'll have a website where we can ship, you know, plant, live plants to people or something like that. Kind of like the fast growing trees. But um, for now, we're just going to be growing and experimenting more, seeing what works inside of the Earthship. And honestly, we're just kind of waiting um, for a couple more months 
uh, into next year before we actually really start any seeds or anything of major importance. But we've got other stuff that's been going, so that's what we're looking at and documenting. We've had more than plenty of power. I was able to get more of the solar uh, situated and hooked up, so we definitely have enough power to be running grow lights. Um, they are on the lowest lowest setting, so we're using, a, I think, under 200 watts of light. So those will shut off at about 10 o'clock and then flick on um, about 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning. Um, and that's just to trick the cannabis plants for uh, staying in the veg, uh, veg cycle. And that'll carry us into next year to grow them out and take clones and kind of keep our genetics going. As well as that's what we're doing with all the trees, the citrus trees and the mulberry and such like that. We'll be growing those out to take cuttings and all that good stuff. So just a good documentation at this point since we're about to go through some extreme cold. And just wanted to show everybody that... Uh, I am running this stove, and the stove does function for how long the pipe is. A couple little tinks, tinker, uh, p things to tinker with and uh, fix, but, you know, overall for this thing being DIY, just mudded in with the barrel and dug out with some fire brick, um, you know, not too bad. So that's, we've got a fire brick outline, like a square inside of here, and then kind of for our tubing, and then it's all mud encased and a mud inner tubing and then the barrel sits on top so so a very diy easy project so we buried the pipe before we concreted the floor and such so and this is a very minimal maintenance uh stove and for how efficient it is and we're not igniting huge logs or anything like that i mean soot deposit or anything like that is is uh out of the question i don't i think for how efficient this is maybe in 10 years or something but we might have to redo the floor even by then so we'll see it, uh, i mean could be a mistake saying what i just said but we'll we'll see this, this is all an experiment here that's what this is all about just experimenting finding what works and kind of having fun with it you know so but for now i'm gonna keep stoking the fire finish what i'm doing and we'll uh Take note of the goats after we get through this cold, I think, because we've got some things to tidy up, and that's what I'm kind of doing, getting the stove going and, and going to get to some other chores. So any other comments or suggestions, definitely leave them in, in the comments section. Otherwise, please like to help prop me up in the algorithm. That would be cool. Um, definitely share with others, and if I can get more subscribers, I definitely can delve into more specific stuff. I can kind of get more into questions and all that good stuff for everybody uh as well as you know doing more videos at a time i know i'm kind of inconsistent with my videos but i can do more videos if i am getting more people on board uh and curious about what's going on how i'm doing things what we could be doing differently maybe something we can experiment with so i'll leave that to anybody that wants to but uh on that note I'm going to finish what I'm doing, so till the next video, so stay tuned.